Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. You're going to hear about a couple of more interesting stock picks from our strategists, Shiraz Meehan and Brian Bolin. Uh, a bank, yes. right, is what you have, yes. and a tech company. Tech. Uh, broad, broadly Broadbase, categorized, yeah. yep. right? We'll get into yours in a minute. We'll start with you. Yeah, so bank. It's, it's a regional bank, Comerica. CMA is the ticker. It's Dallas-based. Uh, has operations in uh, Texas, California, Michigan, uh, a couple of other states. Uh, about 14 billion in market cap uh, has been all over the place this year, uh, but is up uh, about 15 percent. Uh, a shade about the S&P 500, a little bit better than the Zacks finance sector. Uh, banks, particularly uh, these regional banks are primarily interest rate plays. And uh, interest rate has been, long-term interest rates particularly, uh, have been struggling this year. Mm -hmm. uh, they peaked at around 260, 2.6%, uh, the beginning of spring, and uh, have been hovering between this 210 and 240 range uh, ever since. We are towards the high end of that range, or mm -hmm. maybe a little bit below that. Uh, the stock had a pretty good run as the latest uh, up move in, in yield started. Um, and that was further strengthened by the September quarter earnings release, which came in uh, better than expected. Uh, so strong earnings outlook for the company, uh, primarily uh, on the basis of improved margins, margins uh, for banks being a function of interest rates, uh, and uh, uh, better uh, operating uh, efficiencies, meaning uh, cost controls are better, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are seeing a decent momentum in the loan portfolio growth too. Yeah, so the overall, score of a momentum. Uh, that's right. So I, I, I like banks in general. Um, the uh, uh, you could have all of these favorable things for the larger Wall Street operators as well, but I prefer uh, uh, these uh, the, the smaller regional uh, players. And Comerica, I think, is a is, is a pretty good uh, pretty good bet in that space. Uh, even though the run has been decent, I think valuation uh, is still fairly reasonable. Uh, with the uh, with the bank expected to do uh, at least uh, du lower double digit earnings growth uh, this year and next, and uh, stand to be very big beneficiary uh, of, of the tax cut whenever that comes. Okay, Brian, you have Silicon Labs, a little bit more specialized uh, tech company. Yeah, and uh, you know it has a very diverse revenue stream. Uh, they, they call about 50% of their revenues coming from uh, Internet of Things products, mm -hmm. which basically just means sensors, wireless equipment, and MCUs or microcontrollers, or semiconductor kind of chips, as sure. we, we like to think about That's them. what that means? Internet of Things? It just takes in all those? Well, you know, those things are necessary uh, to be part of the Internet of Things. You have to be able to connect to the Internet. Those are the things that help the device, whatever it would be, whether it be a wearable, whether it be a... a a sensor to, to check things or you know maybe even your refrigerator mm -hmm. uh, they have to be able to connect to it so that's that wireless component the sensor that would tell it you know what is it measuring possibly the temperature inside your refrigerator sure. mm -hmm. possibly how many times you open the door or the weight where the milk would be maybe uh, all sorts of uh, possibilities in okay. that, that idea so Silicon Labs is a Zax rank number two that gives it a buy uh, I think the thing that I like to see here is the increase in earnings estimates. We see 90 days ago moving from 292 to 307, and for next year seeing 329 to 341. Very good history of beating the number. We can see over the last four, the average is a 12% positive earnings surprise. And when we take a look at the chart, uh, the, every little green arrow is a earnings a positive earnings surprise. We can see we can see no red arrows. So. Dating back to 2014, Terry, that's three years of beating the number. Wow. The good. company is reporting October 25th, looking for just a little bit under $200 million in revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, they consistently beat on top two. So I'm going to go out on a limb, say this one's going to beat two. 
All right. And that's my well, that's why it's my top stock pick of the week. We'll hold you to Very that. Good. I just found out, or I just actually saw what the cloud was this weekend. <laughs> kind of surprised it wasn't a cloud at all. It's but things that rains. That's right. I, I have the tendency to take these kind of things at face value. Right. So <laughs> what can I tell you? Do either of you own these companies? I have Comerica in the focus list portfolio. Okay. I do not. All right. More stock picks, stock picking strategies, and other stock-related stuff. On our website, zax.com, get over to the home page and start looking through it. Go back and check often because it changes frequently. With Shiraz and Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.